Well, hello, hello, hello. How are you? Patricia here, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in the United States, but more specifically here in Alaska. And uh, today we are going to start looking at the items or a few of the items uh, from the new celebration and from the mini catalog. Well, today will be from the celebration. Um, but these two are new catalogs. They will start on January 4th. <clears throat> now, uh, Stampin' Up! has two celebrations which are like our most awesome time of year because with celebration, for every $50 or $100 you spend, you get a free item. And one of the ones that we're going to look at today is um, one of the $100 items. So let me show you that. It is a stamp set, Friendly Hello. Hello, friend. Hope you have the best birthday. You have my love and support. And some really cute, cute images. I There's not one of these I don't like. Um, even the dotage. <laughs> I know, funny, right? Okay, so the papers that come with this, this is free with a $100 purchase. You don't pay anything for it. You get 12, 12 by 12 pages. These are the front and the back. Oh my goodness, I love that. The front and the back. The front and the back. And I love that there are so many coordinating colored pieces. Now this one, it's kind of hard to see. I'm not sure if you can see what that is. It's kind of little swirlies with black dots. Um, this one and the striped. And then this one and the Fresh Freesia. So, what I meant by that is you've got this pay, the, the, uh, where'd it go? Where's the other one that matches it? Well, oh, here we go. See, these two match. This one's got the black lines. This one, not so much. Um, this one and this one. See how they've got those coordinating papers? There are some card designs that those kinds of papers are just perfect for them. Now, the colors, basic black, of course, Fresh Freesia, Granny Apple Green, Petal Pink, Pool Party, and Shaded Spruce. Some, you know, some colors I might not have thought to put together, but I love them. So that set, the stamp set and the papers, the DSP Designer Series paper, are free with a $100 purchase starting January 1st. So if you do not have this catalog or the new mini catalog that also starts in January, um, and because you don't have a demonstrator or you just simply don't have a demonstrator, I would love the opportunity to be your demonstrator and send you those catalogs. If you have already purchased at least $50 from me in the past six months, you'll get that anyway. Okay, so our card today, let's go through the measurements, the things that we're going to need. First, a whisper white, three and a quarter by four. Four by three and a quarter. Another one, the exact same size of the designer series paper, and it just so happens that I cut this one out with the little bird right there in the middle. Love that. Um, this one is the same size, exactly the same size. Okay, so those two are the same. We are not going to layer those two, which is why they're the same size. Then uh, you need an eight and a half. Now, on this one, I have granny apple green, and it is eight and a half, so it's just cut off the end of a card at three and a half. Three and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter, or scored in half. Then um, another piece of that designer series paper, and this is four by five and a quarter, and then of course our card base, which is eight and a half by five and a half, and scored at four and a quarter. All right. So let's put this little thing together, but first let's create our um, P 
piece that goes on the front, if you will. So I'm going to use Memento Black, uh, Tuxedo Black Memento, and the Granny Apple Green. Okay, those are the two colors that we're going to use for these. I've got my little bird image. I, you know, I was going to color this. I did that in the wrong color. I was going to color this little bird in. Um, isn't that beautiful? But I decided that um, I liked it without it being colored in this time, which makes this a really simple card, uh, but looks like it's got quite a bit more to it. So I'm going to get that ink on there. Very nice. Put this sort of right in the middle-ish. There we go. Now I've got the Hello Friend, and I'm going to do that in the Granny Apple Green and put that right up here at the top. I put that bird a little too high. If it ends up being really too high, I have the back. So we might end up using the back of this card. We'll see how it goes. Okay, and then at the bottom, I'm going to put, um, Hope you have the best birthday. So I'm using two of this. See, I should have put that a little bit lower, my bird. Okay, yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. All right, so let's put, hope you have the best birthday on here. We'll do our sentiments first, which is what I should have done anyway. It's so nice of Stampin' Up! to give us double-sided paper. What do you think? <laughs> I know I say that sometimes, and it's like, Patricia, you're so silly. Okay. There we go. And our little bird. And right there. Now, like I said, I was going to do this little bird um, coloring it in and so I have my fresh freesia and my uh, granny apple green in the blends but you know what there's something it just looks clean and neat like that so I think I'm going to go with this and this is going to go on the front of this the correct side on the front since I did the whole thing twice, right? Okay, let's put that on there. And I'm using liquid glue. It's cardstock to cardstock. So I like, where'd my lid go? I like uh, putting the um, liquid glue to do those. For one, once it's on there, it ain't coming off. All right, then on the very back of this, I'm going to put glue. Woo! <laughs> I got glue on the inside. Yeah, not a good thing, huh? Okay. Now, I want to put maybe a smidge extra glue on this because this part is going to move a bit. So, what I'm going to do now is I want to line it up between the edges here and close this, bring it up just this fold right there, just above that front panel of my card like that. I want to make sure it's just above it. There we go. You do have to get it all the way closed. There we go. There we go. Love it, love it, love it. Now, I could do this, but just doesn't do it for me. So, I'm going to turn it this way and put it on here. Now, with all of this, I could... Let me put a little bit more here, a little bit more here. Um... put, there we go, a white piece 
the same size under here or even here. Okay, either way would work. I have not done that, but it certainly gives you some place to uh, comment or make your sentiment, you know, write your, your uh, sentiments. So this one now I'm going to put right in here. You could, again, put that white in the same size, which is three and a quarter by four, or you can put this, whichever one you would rather. You could even cut this white down just a little bit, but I really wanted to see that DSP, that designer series paper. So I'm going to put my glue on there. but that will give you a lot of different options that you might like to look at as far as what you, how you might like to do this. Now, here's another thing. I could put another one of the, where did my stamp set go? I could put these, these two flowers down below here. Oh, I put this, <laughs> I put this down backwards anyway. Oh well, I liked the other side better. It really did look much better. I will do the other side for the photo on the front. I glued down the wrong side. You guys didn't stop me. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. And I just said I prefer the other side. Oh well, you get it. Um, but anyway, with that, I could go ahead and put, you know, another white piece. Now I would want it to go all the way across likely like this as a matter of fact with this I may do that and put this card I don't know I cannot believe I goofed that up oh well I haven't even used this one yet doesn't want to come out of there but put this in and the flowers down here and they would go slightly underneath yeah I kind of like that who knows who knows what I'll end up doing but cute little card and as I said since I put the wrong paper on uh, oh well it works it's just not as pretty as it was if I had the the reverse of this cardstock let me show you what it was this whoa this one and so I just think that was prettier so I'll cut another one of those and make a picture of both of them. All right, there we go. We are done. I hope you enjoyed this, learned a little bit of extra something, and you got to see this free stamp and uh, DSP bundle that you can get free for a $100 order. All of those papers there. And where's the one that I cut? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I'm missing one. Not sure where it is. Who knows? Oh, here it is. I see it. I see it. This one. Okay. So this is probably my favorite. I love, love, love that. But the others are... At, just as stunning, truly. I love papers, designer series papers that have this dotage on them because you can use them for anything. It's just the color that you're getting at that point. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned something new. Let me move everything out in case you need to take a screenshot. There we go. Uh, <laughs> I don't have a clean under paper, but that's okay. There we go. Okay, so have a good one. If you would give me a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate that. Um, also share this video and uh, like it or um, uh, subscribe down below if you've not already done that. Thank you so much. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.